All right, I think we're ready. Thank you again for joining me here on this quick video. Uh, my name is Larry James. I own a company called Speak with Larry. And what I'm talking about on this video, I want to keep these videos really short because I want to make, you know, a point on each one, kind of like a bullet point, if you will, when I'm creating these videos to show my viewing audience um, the, and as well as my clients how to set up short video clips that create a product in the end, right? As you get better at what you're doing, just kind of, you know, keep everything in order. And at the end, then you'll have a little product that you can generate a little profit from. And on these videos, I'm going to be talking about things related to credit. Now, I'm not an expert or anything like that, but I do research. And sometimes I buy courses, just like the courses I sell. And when I decide on a topic or a subject that I want to gain some information on, as well as share some information about, then um, I invest my money. And then I learn from that. And then I share the content that I've learned. So that's what I'm doing with these videos. So today's video is called Late Payments on Student Loans. Now, if you pay close attention, you're going to learn some very interesting stuff about this part of the world when it comes to going to college and acquiring a student loan. But this, again, this is going to be a series of videos. So just bear with me. Each one is going to be, I'm trying to keep it below five minutes. So I'm going to start with this. Late payments on student loan accounts are going to impact credit scores, just like late payments on any other type of credit obligation. Now, late payments are virtually guaranteed to cause a drop in credit scores. And while all late payments are bad, missing student loan payments are quickly snowball into a credit report nightmare. I said nightmare. Now, most consumers who use student loans to finance their education take out multiple loans during college, perhaps as many as one loan per semester. Did you hear that? one loan per semester. That's incredible, isn't it? Now, if a college student completes his undergraduate studies in four years, he could easily have as many as eight student loans. These eight loans show up on his credit report as eight individual accounts, not one large loan. And typically, the borrower will make a single payment to the lender for his student loans and the lender will distribute the funds to the individual accounts. And if a borrower becomes 30 days past due on his lump sum payments, then in the previous scenario, he would actually have late payments reported to not one, but eight accounts on his credit report. Now, this will compound the damages of his credit report. Wouldn't you agree? So be very mindful when you're dealing with those student loan debts. Okay, see so that's, I'm gonna stop right there. That's how I wanna keep these videos and that's how I want you to keep your videos short, to the point, make a point, and then exit, all right? Then process it. So this is video number one of this portion. Uh, so stay tuned for video number two. And I will say this is video two and I'll put those in sequence so that you can follow along. So. Again, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak With Larry. And as always, share it with someone else what I've shared with you.